everyone, I'm Allie with Potomac Beads. Join me in making this red velvet bracelet. Whether or not you wanna make it as a single component earring, ring, necklace, by making it a V, you can have fun creating. We're gonna be featuring the Round Duo Minis along with some staple beads you already have, three and four millimeter beads. If you need any additional supplies, you can purchase from us below. We have the links in the description at potomacbeads.com as well as .eu. So we're gonna begin our red velvet bracelet from the bottom moving to the top. Each component is done and connected onto the bracelet, and we're actually gonna be starting with one of the connection points. I wanted to show the bracelet here with that connection point so you could see the right angle weave that we're about to do. I have some black wildfire beading thread in point 006, and I have a stop bead on the bottom of the thread using a size 12 needle. I've left about eight inches after the stop bead so I can go back and put the clasp on the project. That little right angle weave section is gonna begin with a 15, 11, crystal, 11, 15. Then the other side of the right angle weave is gonna be a pearl, and then we repeat that step again. 15, 11, crystal, 15, 11, and then a pearl. We're gonna round this out just like doing right angle weave, and I'm using the 15 O's in the Duracoat galvanized dark yellow gold. I have the 11 O's in the burnt cinnamon, the two by three, or I'm sorry, the three millimeter rounds in the garnet AB. And then the four millimeter pearls are in that nice uh, wine color. And I'm gonna take my threaded needle back through starting near the stop bead, the 15, the 11, the crystal, the 11, the 15, through the pearl, and back through the second set of 11, and 15s with the crystal in the middle. I'm gonna exit before the four millimeter pearl, and that's gonna begin my connection unit. This is also how I'm going to put on the clasp is right after that connection point. From here, we're gonna go in and we're gonna add in our base for the project. So our base is based on a collection basically of the four millimeter rounds and the three millimeter rounds. We are also gonna put in the round trios and fold them in towards the center. The pattern coming off the connection point is going to be one round trio, and then you're gonna do a 15, 11, four millimeter pearl, 11, 15, round duo mini. We're going to repeat this until we have four round duo minis on, alternating with the three and the four millimeter beads. So now I'm gonna do again, 15, 11, crystal, 11, 15. Round duo mini. 15, 11, and then we do the four millimeter round with the 11, the 15, and then again, another round duo mini. That's my fourth of my mini round duos that I put on. And now I'm going to round that out just like I did with the right angle unit. Going through that 15 and 11, crystal, 11, back through the 15. So my thread is going to be coming out, the thread and nail is coming out right before that first round duo that we just added. So it's coming out right there at that connection point. From here, we're gonna do our outer edge, skipping over the round duo minis and just adding in three 15s. So I'm gonna go and add three 15s, then sew through the 15, 11, four millimeter, 11, 15. We're gonna put these three beads on all the corners. So we're doing another three 15s. And I kept it simple by just using the same 15 O color throughout going through the next set of beads, the 15, 11 crystal, 11, 15. This is also a great component for an earring where you can make it into a V shape, adding the components in and have a great necklace piece too. Add in three more beads, go through the next side of beads, the four millimeter with the C beads on the side. And then we're gonna repeat one more time. If you notice that you see any extra thread, like I do here that it's kind of hanging out, I'm gonna go back to that first three millimeter bead and just kind of pull along the outer edge, making sure that it's nice and tight. 
After you add your last three beads, you're going right down that connection point one more time, coming out after that last 15 that sits right after that initial crystal. Once you're through there, it completely rounds out the project. And it's gonna force my round duo minis to kind of sit towards the interior. We're gonna do what's called a step up, going from that outer hole of the round duo mini that we're already sewn through. And we're going to step up to the inner hole of the round duo mini. Our thread's gonna be exposed a tiny bit on the side, but because we're using this nice black thread, you really won't see it. Once you're through the second hole of the first round duo mini, we're gonna catch on to all of the second holes of the round duo mini. In between each, we're gonna add a 15 round duo mini, 15, and then sew through that second hole that's next in the line. From here, I want you to repeat this four times, going the whole way around the project, adding in that collection of the 15 round duo mini 15 between each of that second hole of the first grouping of them. I've already added three of the second set of the round duo minis. I'm about to add my fourth. Going back through the first hole that the thread was coming out of on the bottom line of my four millimeter round duo minis. I'm going through that same inner top hole and then I'm also gonna sew through the first hole of the first round duo mini that I just put on in this grouping of four. We're gonna step up then from that bottom hole or outer hole into the inner hole of that same round duo mini. Again, the black thread will disguise really nicely against the jet bronze round duo mini. We're gonna add three 15 O's and connect all those round duo minis with the second hole or the interior hole of that bead. Three 15's go on, sew around through to the next one. Because there's four beads, we do this four times, adding in the three bead connection. Once we add in the fourth grouping of three, we're gonna go back and create corners. To do so, we're gonna sew through the, uh, the 15 OC beads that we just added, but we're gonna skip through the middle bead. So we added them in a group of three. We're gonna take our black thread and sew through bead number one. And we're also gonna sew through bead number three. So skip over bead two and sew into bead three. At the same time then you can go through the next round duo mini and force that middle 15-0 to sit towards the exterior. Continuing this, we're going to do it four times to get all of those corners. Again, going through bead number one, bead number three, and then through that next round duo mini. Once you do that and pull tightly, you wanna make sure that that middle bead that we're not sewing through sits towards the exterior, creating a little bit of a point. After we do this four times, we're gonna go in and add our four millimeter bead in between the round duo minis to embellish the top of the design. If you like the top of the design open, you can always keep it open, not adding in the four millimeter round to the top. As I come around now and I get my last corner established, I'm going to sew through the round duo mini that my thread was originally coming out of to kind of finish off this piece and we're gonna add our four millimeter round. Again, at this point, I'll just kind of go through, pull my thread tight, force my beads to the outside of my little square, and they're gonna sit almost like a crown kind of facing up. Coming out the round duo mini then, you're gonna grab a 15, four millimeter round, followed by another one of your 15. You're gonna go to the round duo mini that sits across from the one your thread is coming out of. So I'm coming out of this bottom round duo mini on the right hand side. I'm gonna sew into the right hand side of the round duo mini that sits across coming out the left. Force that 15 and that pearl and the 15 to sit towards the middle of the design, making sure that it's not caught into any of the side seed beads. Add a 15, sew back through the pearl towards that stop bead and just through the pearl, add another 15 to finish off this component. After you add the other 15, you're gonna sew back through that bottom round trio, that duo that your 
thread was originally coming out of. And once you're through that mini round duo, you give a nice tight pull and establish your line of C beads. From here, this component is finished and we're gonna get to a connection point to form another right angle weave section here to start another grouping of our little red velvet cake. So to get to our connection point, we're coming out of the round duo mini that sits closest to the start. We're gonna downgrade or step down from that round duo mini going through from the top hole or the inner hole to the outer hole. At the same time, go through the 15 and the next round duo, making sure your thread's not twisted anywhere. We're then gonna continue over through the next 15 round duo. And we're going through the inner and the outer holes because we're kind of just staying to that center line where the round duos connect. Through the whole way, so I'm going the whole way over to the other side, not getting my thread twisted. And once you're through then to that other side, we're gonna sew through the 15 round duo, 15 round duo. We're now gonna step down. So you're gonna be at the round duo, that's kind of the corner where your stop bead is. You're gonna downgrade from that round duo and go from the inner hole to the outer hole at the same time then, you're gonna go through the 15, 11, crystal, 11, 15, and out. This is now has us back to our starter point where we have to create that round duo connection. We're gonna add a pearl in the four millimeter, a 15, and an 11, a crystal, followed by an 11, and a 15, and then one more of our pearls. Once we have that on, let that drop down next to your section that you already have, and we're going to do the right angle weave. So we're going back through that line of 15, 11, crystal, 11, 15, that my thread was just coming out of. From here, you're gonna sew back through the pearl you just added, down through the 15, 11, crystal, 11, 15. And there you have it. Set yourself on autopilot and repeat, and you can always go through and actually rewind or slow down this video. And we're gonna keep adding on to this to create a longer and longer component. As you finish, it's time to add your clasp. I'm coming out of the side of my right angle weave unit, just like if I would be adding another section to my project, except I'm coming out between the 11 and the 15. I'm gonna add a 15, 11, 15 onto my needle, letting that drop down next to that kind of crystal 11 section. From there, just like I did on this side, I'm gonna add one more of my 11s, go through the alternate side of my clasp, and if you've already done one, you can disconnect it. Go back down through that 50, or that 11-0 that is shared there. If you have a different type of clasp, you can also use a wire guard too. That'll help kind of save you on that. And of course, I need one more seed bead out. Got about one more 11. Pick out a 15, oh, there goes my 15 hopping. 15, and then an 11, and then your last 15 on the needle. From here, go over to the opposite side of that 11, crystal 11 mix, and so right through, so you come out again after that 11. We're gonna reinforce this then, doing the exact same stitch through again, not adding any beads, just sewing back through that little diamond or that little triangle that we've created going through the 15s, the 11s, out through the 11, make sure that you go through the clasp, going back then down through the 11, and the 15, 11, 15 down the side. You can go through one more time if you want to reinforce the clasp, and then what you're gonna do is just sew the thread and needle back through the project, 
to get rid of the extra thread. You can tie off the thread if you want to further back in the project. I'm gonna weave back through, kind of turning along the project and making sure that my thread is not gonna escape. I can do a sewer's knot or a half hitch knot, and you can check out some other videos too on kind of finishing off and tying off the thread at the end of the project. I'm just gonna take advantage of this right angle weave unit. You can also go up along the side here, catching on to the 15s, run your thread and needle down the side, you're just gonna to wanna to make sure that you don't see any extra thread. After you turn and reverse the thread two or three times, you actually don't really need to worry too much about knotting the thread because the chances of it escaping are slim to none. Once you have one side of the clasp done, you're gonna flip over, take the stop bead off, do the other side of the clasp, and then your red velvet bracelet is completed. Remember, as I had said earlier, this would look great as an actual necklace component as well. And what you can do for the necklace component is actually come off uh, of this other side here using the center one with all the same crystals along the outer edge and create a nice V effect. Check out some of the pendant designs too we have if you wanna drop a pendant from it and enjoy this red velvet bracelet. I love its three dimensional feature. You can have fun creating and making that nice shape. You can also try out some other shapes too if you have them and let us know kind of what you make with it. Thanks so much for joining me in making this fun red velvet bracelet. Remember, you can try it out with some different beads and comment below and let us know exactly what you use. With the staples of the three and the four millimeter bead, you can change up the design into endless combinations. The round duo minis add a great fit because you can use those two holes to really lock in the design. If you do need any materials, remember you can purchase from us online at potomacbeads.com as well as .eu, and we put links to the material list in the description below me. Remember, you can also give a little thumbs up and subscribe subscribe to this YouTube channel. You'll get regular updates from us on new products, new designs, and new beads. As always, thank you so much for watching and enjoy working with the Round Duo Minis and creating your red velvet bracelet.